Well, how do you do, buckaroos? Well, how the heck are you? So, Bass Boy just came to my neck of the woods. Uh, guess why? Well, probably due to the corporate buyout. And I guess that's the advantage when a conglomerate buys an independent brewery is distribution. I know it certainly helped with Boulevard. Boulevard is now just about everywhere. And in the case of Duvel buying Boulevard, uh, I don't think it's hurt him any. And I don't know if it's helped but uh, I, I know they've, they've popped out a lot of different flavors all of a sudden. I don't know if these were already in a pipeline or if this was kind of, you know, uh, if those ideas came from that other corporate structure. I don't know. But Boulevard, I don't think their quality has suffered. And um, I don't know if these are new ideas, but they're certainly popping out a lot of different beers all of a sudden. But there is no doubt that you, there are certain cases to be made when a corporate has bought uh, an independent brewery that the quality has suffered. And I think something that gets overlooked too, it's not only sometimes the quality that suffers, it's the creativity. In a lot of cases, with that you know they're not allowed to stretch those boundaries anymore once that corporate machine takes over. And only time will tell what will happen with Ballast Point, but at the moment I'm going to enjoy it because, well, guess what? They're in my market, and they weren't before, you know, so there you go. So I've, I've had um, I've had the regular Sculpin, and I've had the Grapefruit, so I didn't buy that. I only bought two flavors from them to start with. I bought the Habanero, and then I bought their uh, Victory at Sea Vanilla Coffee Porter. Uh, but let's, let's start with here with the Habanero Sculpin. 7% 70 IBUs, I believe, are the numbers on them. The aroma spectacular. The aroma is just spectacular. Uh, I get grapefruit. I get mango. A lot of various tropical fruit notes. And, well, habanero, I did get a hint of spice, but not necessarily in a big way. Now, I don't know if I let this warm, if that spice would come out more or not. Yeah, babe. Now, this beer isn't going to be for everybody. If you don't dig spicy, don't buy it or do a review for it. Just tell us how bad it is. It's crafted very well. How much you like it is going to depend on how much you like spicy. What you have here are the flavors of Sculpin. You have the flavors of a beautiful IPA. A lot, again, a lot of tropical fruit notes, so a whole lot of grapefruit. All wrapped around and finished by that that beautiful habanero spice. Now, for me, I'm a guy that eats a lot of spicy, so I don't think it's overly spiced. I don't think it should have any more in it because if it does, that spice would take over the rest of the beer. Uh, I think it's probably a one and done beer at a time, and that's okay. I mean, I'll be honest. For me, most beers are a one and done, even if they're not technically one and done beers. I mean, I like to keep changing up. If if I'm home on a Saturday and from from noon to 10, from noon to the time I go to bed, I have six beers. 99% of the time, there's six different beers. I rarely have the same one twice. I'm the same way when I go to a pub. I rarely order the same beer twice in a row. I want to keep changing up. So the fact that it's a one and done isn't necessarily a negative. But I do think if you're, I mean, I don't know that there's a point to having two of these in a row. You've already got the flavors, your palate's already, you know, in the shape it's in. Where after this beer, you really got to go to some sort of palate cleanser and then start again. Having said that, I'm going to repeat myself and say, yes, it is crafted extremely well. If this, if, if what I just described... <laughs> is what you're looking for in a beer. I think it's perfect. I, I, I like what they've done here. I don't think it's flawed in any way whatsoever. Uh, it was rather expensive to my way of thinking. I mean, it was about 15 bucks a six pack. Um, I think the Sculpin runs about 12 bucks a six pack. All the ballast points are a little pricey uh, for, for me because I'm a guy that's, you know, I'm a little frugal, let's just say. Um, but yeah, I, the truth is I will buy this again. I probably won't buy it again until spring, but I will buy it again because not only do I want to drink one of these in the springtime when it's starting to warm up again, I want to use it to uh, to to, uh, to, to marinate a great big pork butt because I think a pork butt marinated in this for about 24 hours would be freaking awesome. I'm trying to beer whisper. We'll talk to you later.